Thank you for amplifying these voices and thank you for making a difference. With that being said, I am excited to be here presenting the award for Best Emerging Filmmaker for a Documentary Short. This $1,000 prize is for a filmmaker who shows real promise in this role. Personal style, authentic voice, and passion for social change concerning women or girls emanate from their work, and they show an aptitude for executing their vision. Finding Venus is a cathartic experience both for the participants of the workshop and for the film itself, the viewers of the film itself. It references the ancient mother's cult and paleolithic sculptures of goddesses in juxtaposition of the self-destruction and self-respect and self-love, the basic universal human emotions. This film is very sincere. Today, we are proud to present Finding Venus by Mandy Lynn as the winner of our Best Emerging Filmmaker for a Short Documentary. Please enjoy the clip, and then we invite Mandy to join us to speak. Congratulations. My final niece walks into my kitchen Christmas last year and says, Itty baby, I like that. This was my response to it. We work hard enough. There will be a generation where they let it go. They can just be creative and powerful women and they never have to power it out. What would that be like? What would the world be like with that? My five-year-old niece walks into my kitchen at Christmas. Welcome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm in tears. Holy cow. I just um I just want to thank you um uh on behalf of all the women that um participated in the film that literally um bared their chest and became part of the luscious order of golden shield maidens. <laughs> they were creating a shield wall of of love for the next generation and um oh my goodness <laughs> and i'm an accidental filmmaker um I, <laughs> that's the the i guess thank you thank you so much i'm a a nurse and a photographer i'm a master photographer here in new zealand and um the the film um community got behind the project and just um loved everything that we were doing and the film commission got wind of the project and suggested we apply to um their um um uh, fresh shorts competition and we we're actually the the only documentary crew to ever win it um which just blew us away and um and so the New Zealand film community has rallied around this and around me. And um, I have so much gratitude um, for them. And uh, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you for the women. Thank you for the girls. And um, thank you to my um, complete um, uh crew that has surrounded and brought this beautiful thing to life. It was a massive labor of love. So mwah. thank you from New Zealand and thank you from finding Venus. Congratulations, Mandy. We're so happy you were able to join us today and be a part of this and receive this live. Uh, it's so special um, to share this with you. Um, we're gonna keep moving forward with our awards presentations and reminder for folks that you will have another week to watch all of these films, the winning films and the rest of the collection. Um, so we'll make sure that that's available to you. Um, but next, without further ado, I'm so honored to introduce a member of our jury panel, uh, Cindy Avell to present our next award, the best emerging filmmaker in the documentary feature category. Cindy, welcome. Thank you, Chelsea, and hello, everyone. 
Thank you so much to my fellow jurors, as well as to the filmmakers. I always find it fascinating to be able to, to see not only the work of other filmmakers, but to be able to interact with people who are responding to those and see the places where we have some of the same and also some of the, the different responses based on what our lives are like and what our current situation is. So uh, along with those other film um, jurors, film jurors, we watched more than 24 hours of film. And so you might imagine, given the range of topics, how this was simultaneously emotionally draining and emotionally gratifying. And I personally love just seeing the passion and the enthusiasm for sharing stories, some happy, some sad, some works in progress, uh, which made our decisions, as you can imagine, pretty difficult. So one of those films is Resistorhood. And so this feature documentary, I really loved because it wasn't just informative. It wasn't recapturing something we might've seen on television news, but it was also engaging. And it drew us in to the lives of the people that it was documenting. And it was also energizing. And so by documenting how people responded to the 2016 election, resistorhood has really ensured itself a place, if you will, in how the history of that time is told. And we need to tell women's history from the lens of women. And that's not something that always happens. And so Resistorhood definitely did that as it followed six diverse Americans as they fight for social justice on the streets, as well as in the halls of power. And over the course of two years, we get to see how they work to protect their rights, our rights, and inspire others to join in this movement. And from a filmmaking perspective, one of the things I really appreciated was they captured the broad strokes, the context of what was happening, as well as the personal unvarnished impact on the people who were engaged. 